Hi, Aaron Young here with Dutchman RV. Today we're gonna to go over our Kodiak Ultralight brand and where each one of our individual segments fit in the marketplace today. Our Kodiak brand has four unique segments that cover the half-ton travel trailer market. Our Kodiak SE segment is our most affordable lineup, full of features but economical enough to fit any budget. Kodiak Cub models are the lightest in our fleet. This single axle offering is full of features and all under 4,000 pounds. The Kodiak Ultralight segment is our flagship offering. You will find our largest variety of models here to fit every consumer's needs. Kodiak Ultimate segment is our most fully featured offering. If king size beds and all the comforts of home are what you are seeking, this is the lineup for you. Let's talk construction for just a second. All of our Kodiaks are built from a lightweight aluminum structure. As you can see in the pass-through storage of our Kodiaks, there are aluminum tubes that run through our units, making Kodiak construction some of the lightest weights in our industry. One other feature I would like to talk to you about is our Hyperdeck composite flooring. That runs throughout our unit, giving it lighter weights than most of our competitors. Let's go take a look at that. We'd like to go over a few different styles of floor construction seen in our industry. And in particular, we would like to cover our Hyperdeck composite flooring and our Dutchman Kodiak ultralight products. To cover a few of those construction styles that we commonly see in our industry, I wanted to bring you a couple of the samples of how they're built. This here is a sheet of OSB. This is used in a lot of uh, floor construction in our industry. They will also use plywood as flooring. Uh, you can see how wood, OSB or plywood of, or any of those wood products, if exposed to some sort of moisture or water, could lead to mold, rotting, softening over time. Uh, another common style that you will see, especially in the ultralight category of products in the RV industry, is built like this. And what they do is they take two small strips of Luon and they will laminate those together. Then they will laminate it to the substrate or the block foam that provides the insulation for your, for your RV. But you can also see this is not treated wood. This isn't treated wood. Most plywoods aren't treated that are used in the RV industry. So if this gets expo exposed to moisture or any, any type of water, uh, it's gonna deteriorate over time. It, it could lead to some softening. It could lead to some molding. However, what we do here at Dutchman, and in, in particular our Kodiak Ultralight products, we use this Hyperdeck composite floor. And you can see that this is a really thick, hard composite uh, made of plastic and, and some other fibers. Uh, this will not rot, it won't mold, it won't mildew. This won't deteriorate over time. There's nothing in this floor, as you can see, there's nothing in this floor to get soft or to rot or to mold or to mildew. And I just wanted to cover some of that because this is always covered up when you're shopping for an RV. Uh, you never get to see this part of it. We can tell you, but we felt today with a visual to go over the different styles of construction that are used in our industry. This would help you see that this is a superior product. There's nothing wrong with these products if moisture or water is never introduced into an RV, but should something happen, this will hold up. This won't have the problems that you have with wood products. Uh, it's lighter, it's got better screw retention. There's a host of, of properties here in the Hyperdeck that make it a far superior product for building RVs. All right, here we are on the Kodiak production floor. And this is an actual Kodiak ultralight that was built today as far as the frame and the floor. You can see we, we got some plumbing parts and electrical being introduced into it. And to demonstrate our capability of our Hyperdeck composite flooring and how if water or moisture is introduced into our floor, it will not ruin the quality or the construction of our product. This unit's gonna get built tomorrow. I brought some water here and I just wanted to show you. It beads right off. It is not going to mold or stain or rot or absorb. You can see what's happening here. This is why the Kodiak Hyperdeck floor is the best ultralight construction floor you'll find in the industry today. Let's take a look at how some of our competitors hook up their battery terminals, fuses, and wires on the front of the unit near the A-frame. This is a bit of a mess as you can see, and it's also in the way sometimes of you hooking up dual batteries on the front of your unit. 
It is also exposed to the elements. Now let us show you how we added a new exterior power center on the front of all of our Kodiaks. Now that we showed you how our competition hooks up their electrical components on their A-frame, let us show you how Kodiak Ultralight utilizes its exterior power center. As you can see on our Kodiak Ultralights, we have added this exterior power center to all of our units. And what that did, as we showed you earlier with our competition, all those relays and breakers and electrical hookups that were on those A-frames, we were able to move those and get them back here in this box so it's protected from the elements and out of the way. So it kept this space nice and clean for your dual batteries that you wanna add. It gives you that space so you can hook those sway bars up on both sides without having to disconnect a bunch of stuff. It also has a nice uh, battery disconnect feature on it. You turn that off. And if you ever need to access this box, you back out these two screws, you turn this dial all the way to the left on off where it says remove cover, and you pops right off. And when you pop that off, there's a couple things here. One on the back side of this, it shows you what all of these hookups are and wires and color coding. It's just a nice, easy, convenient way that if you do have a breaker that blows or trips, you can come down here, figure out where it's at, get it reset, put the cover back on and be on your way. So another nice feature we added to all of our Kodiaks was the inverter and solar prep. So what you'll see on the pass-through storage of your units is this box. This box has two screws in it and you can remove it. So for those of you who would like to add solar, go to an authorized dealer and we've made it super easy for them. Everything behind this box is wired. So you have your stuff for your 12 volt to go to your charge controller. There's also a loop for 110 that powers up several of the outlets throughout the coach. We even have a solar roof prep on top, so it's a plug and play system. You'll pop the caps off the solar roof prep and you'll add a panel or two to the roof and that will power down here and charge your batteries and then your inverter will convert that 12 volt over to 110 and give you some of those solar capabilities that you need. Another really popular feature on all of our Kodiaks is the outside griddle that mounts right on the side of the unit. Comes with a bracket in the pass-through storage. Your griddle will also be uh, located in your pass-through storage. These arms pop out, and again, there's a spring at the bottom that you would pull up to fold it back in and store it away. But you take your bracket and you hang it right on the side of the unit where your bracket's located. Then you grab your griddle, and there's these loops on both sides that you would slide this on. And once you get this on through the loops here, a little back and forth, there's these little carter pins that go in here for safety so that does not slide off on you. And you put those in on both sides. And then you're ready to do your breakfast, your pancakes, whatever you're doing at the camper. Another really nice feature is we put an LED light over all of our stab jacks. Our stab jacks are power. There's a nice button here. It's all electric, touch of a button, down come your power jacks. But what I like about this LED light over each stab jack is not everybody gets to the campground during the day. Sometimes you get there after dusk or at night and it's nice to have a light without someone standing there holding a flashlight for you. So you're able to put your blocks down and let your jacks down. Those switches for those lights are located right here in the pass-through storage with the rest of our switches for the exterior lights. And that's just another nice feature on our Kodiak Ultralight brand. Probably my favorite feature in Kodiaks with the U-shaped dinette is its converting capabilities. As you can see, this makes a big U-shaped dinette so you can get a family in here. However, we do know that some people have older kids or maybe other adults that are going with them and some of the people don't fit as good behind this smaller area here like smaller kids would. So you can just convert your Kodiak tabletop. Take this, set that over there for just a second. You wanna take these two poles out like so. Move your cushions. And then there's this piece in the middle that will come out. You take this piece out, you're gonna throw it back here on your bunk or store it away underneath something. Put these poles back in the far outer positions and what that will do is it will give you more of a restaurant style uh, dinette where you can sit larger adults just like that.
Kodiak specializes in storage. Our units have these nice, convenient pull-out drawers underneath the dinettes to put a lot of your cargo in. And also, be on the lookout. In some of our models, we have a massive hidden pantry, just like in this one. Now that we have showed you a few features in our Kodiak lineup, please visit one of our dealerships to explore our brand further and find the right model for you and your family.